Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hora Truck and we are playing Age of Wonders 3 together. So in the last episode we um, migrated the city to, to ghouls, so it has no morale penalty anymore. We are building an embalmer shrine. We will potentially change this to our throne city, our main city, because it is a really good location with a lot of stuff around it. And we wanted to attack this Wraith King and try to control him. So we will do that. I end the turn. Be able to move him up here. Um, yeah, move you over there. You can move here. And let's attack. It is, as I said, it's quite risky to add try to control the Wraith King because it can can attack us but now that um, our units are healed it is not it is not as risky as it would have been without it. What can you do? You can reach. You can still reach. It's not good. No. You over here. And you can still reach us. Very good. And you can go behind. We want you together with our main hero. And you just stay back. It's funny that they are so fast. I would, would rather think that skeletons are slow, but it was al would also be annoying if they were really slow. Shall we do a, a spell? We could. Yeah, let's let's cast a spell. Why not? Strengthen our units. That's gonna be it. Well, they're just waiting. Sneaky. And it's not even possible to reach the Wraith King. Can reach you though. Yeah. And they didn't die. That's sad. Now they're dead. Mm. Can you pass through walls? Yeah, they can. So we cannot actually box them in by putting a beetle rider over here. Hmm. You see this, um, this tombstone pulsating? Because these units have undying as their ability. We return two rounds after it falls in battle with 35% of its maximum health. This effect only works once per battle. So it will come back in two rounds and yeah, haunt us again. As we can do nothing against them, I think we just do the most damage we can. That's not quite enough. Still isn't enough. Bad luck, I guess. I'll just heal you instead. Whatever. Who can you reach? Oh, you can go quite far. So I'll take you back a bit. You can go everywhere, basically. you to cover our units back. Uh. OK. 
can you attack him? No, you can't. So we take you out of the line as well. You're just disgusting. Jazra the mystic is disgusted. So he can reach and he can dish out some damage, but he can't kill us, I hope. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. No. Wish me luck. No, it didn't work. Wish me luck again. Finally. Oh yeah, we got you. Now you can attack once. And you can you can actually kill this unit. So he got healed because he has um it's under the influence of this global enchantment, Necron's um, curse or something. I think. Now we will have to to end this, I think. Controlled under it lasts... Oh yeah, lasts forever. Alright. <laughs> yeah. They will attack our... destroy our cadavers. We aren't careful. So we charge him. Ah. I don't want the cadavers to die. They are still useful in, in the cities. They will attack. And then the fight is at an end. I should have should have woken some cadavers, but on the other hand now we got a Wraith King. And that is just perfect. Siren's musical box. Seduce. Attempts to take control of target enemy unit. Perfect. So now we can control living and undead creatures. Take that of course. Give it to our leader. Thank you. Where's the Wraith King? You have the Wraith King. How long will the embalmer skill take? Quite a while. Now we are much stronger. We have the Wraith King and um, two cadavers. You still need one cadaver to complete your unit. Oh, this, this um, was promoted to elite. Now you are inflicting severely poisoned. It was two health points more. 95. Um, you're quite tanky now. Glad of that. What do you? Frosting harpoon thrower. Um, yeah, I'll give you these. I'll give him, give him the weak units. Or her to defend the city and take the strong units to to attack all these all these parties that are blocking our way. Hey, they froze our walk riders. Didn't manage to freeze the big beetles, so. We are nearly dead. Could attempt to seduce some of them. I'm I'm not sure if I want them. Can heal the Wraith King. Can heal you too. I'll do that. You shall be healed. Yeah. He leveled up. So let's see how hard the Wraith King can hit. Stole them some life. 
He stole four life and he took four damage. Oh, that's good. He's he's not happy. Oh yeah, because our alignment is not is not evil at the moment. It's not evil enough for him. So he's he's pissed that we are so friendly and good. But makes no matter. We will be really evil really soon. Units that are frozen are really vulnerable. They cannot take any action. They cannot retaliate. And the problem is um, they are perpetually flanked. Take our beetle and engage this unit. Oh, that's not a difficult fight at all. We live through it. Oh no, they killed our leader. That is bad. <laughs> but it's not the end of the world. Um, our leader will return in three turns. So. In our throne city. I want the Wraith King to level up. That would be nice. It's not a must, though. Take you. Kill them already. Oh yeah, they are still alive. That's no good. We won the fight, but our leader died. He's in the void and will return in three rounds. Three turns. What to do with you, though? How long will the embalmers go take? Four rounds. So. There's a potential threat from here. The Archon Titan could march in and attack our city. That would be bad. I also want this city for ourselves. Well, it is helping our, our throne city to grow. But they are dwarves and they have to be eliminated. No? It's not good. So we put these into this city and give just rather Mystic the chance to prove herself. We give her this deck and try to kill as many of uh, the units that guard these um, mines and treasure sites. So you come down here, my friend. That way we can do two things at once. We can guard the city because Jazra will be near the city. And we also get the mines when the city grows. Yeah, we know that already. Oh, our main city has grown into a town. Quite big now. What is the, what is the next thing? Twenty two thousand. Oh, double that size. That will take a while. But it's growing really fast, especially for Necromancer City. Pays off to plague our neighbors with rats, but they are worthless dwarven scum, so they may die. Yeah, actually, that's nothing else to do this turn. So just get on with it. Sadly there is no research as long as our leader is in the void and we can also not cast anything. What do you want? We're not interested in your stuff. Kind of fun movement. Come here. Ah, yeah, we have no movement left. That's okay.
We'll wait another turn. Yeah, and Zvuk has grown. And in one unit, this town will be able to heal the cadavers. So we can now safely take this units out. This units should be able to take them. I'm pretty sure. So you, you just stay in the city and do your do your defending thing. Now the town is even even faster growing because we got three more tiles of wetlands. It's now growing at 694 per turn. We will attack these. Oh, yeah, we should select. Should select a building. Filth pit launches a barrage of stinking rotten meat over the walls at a random enemy unit during a siege. I think. Um, yeah, we don't really need that. I think we need the Cathedral of Bones. Or we should do that. Yeah, more, more, more hammers. We need more and more hammers. The more hammers we have, the faster we can churn the units out later. And also the faster faster we can build build other stuff that makes the city better. No, oh, they're just defending. Sneaky. They want me to come come in. Lure me in. The global enchantment here is recharging mana currents. Restores 15 health to a friendly summoned unit or unit of magical origin each combat round. So these three will get healed by nearly their full health. Can heal the walk rider. We'll do that. And then slowly advance with the big beetle. I shall not repeat my former mistake. Lost two two big beetles really really easy because I was too aggressive. I will not repeat that. Let's wait. See if they come to us. No, they don't. They are really clever. They will have none of it. Can we destroy one of them? Yes we can. But we're losing mana. Minus forty two! That's crazy! Why are we losing that much mana? Clearly we cannot use any spells then. It's simply not possible. At least, if we conquer this, we get 10 more mana per turn, so we only have minus 32. Is it you that takes all the upkeep? No, you take gold. Not sure what's happening there. Or is it city enchantments? Let me find out later. This will definitely kill the unit. And this will too. So, yeah. We take the gamble. They are also stunned. Now that is really bad. Don't like that at all. Can you reach? No, you can't. I cannot reach a target. Can I? I could at least de-stun these. Those units will all go and attack this beetle, big beetle. It's a shame. I don't want to lose another big beetle.
cannot be affected. Spirit debuffs. Also, this does not. Yeah, we have to do it. I cannot afford to lose another beetle. So you have to die. And yeah. She leveled up. Please do not kill my big beetles. No. That hurts. Oh yeah, you made it. You're the best beetle in the world. Now we have to we have to engage these to stop them from attacking our beetle. Ah, oh, they are halflings, so they're lucky. Son of a gun. And you can also not do your undead healing. But we can move you as far from the combat zone as possible to prevent you from dying. Save you from dying, so sorry. No. I will go over here. I can attack these. Or these. And I think. I think we do that. <coughs> I probably should have killed one of the units, but I want them engaged in melee. Ah, and I, I can. can go on with you. And kill him. If I could go over here, I could raise that from the dead. Let's see what happens. No, they died. Yeah, we probably need don't need more corpses flailing around. Zwook gains 175 undead population. Very good. We got some mana. I, I don't understand how we have so much upkeep. How much upkeep do you cost? Oh, you have gold. You have two. You have two. Can I can I look that look that up somewhere else? Oh, that's resources. Oh, these two cost 40, 40 mana per turn, but they are really good. I think we have to keep these up. This cannot be helped. Can I change the building project over here? Yeah. Build me something else. Build me a temple. Oh no, this also costs mana. It's a vicious circle. Yeah, we can build a shrine here. I will get rid of 15 in three rounds. So, what will be lost until then? In the next round, we will have 34. We can clear that out and find some mana over there. Uh, yeah. However, we'll manage, but I uh, have to bring this episode to a close. Um, thank you for watching. I hope I see you next episode. Bye bye.